Well, hello. We're going to be trying something a little different today. So typically I review different kinds of things to eat, food, you know, drinks, etc. You know, because it's, you know, easy. It's in my everyday life and, you know, it's a fun thing to do. Um, and I know that it's things that a lot of people may be more are interested in. But, um, you know, I'm going to delve into a little bit of my hobbies and I do have one video on here about you know, my thoughts on Star Wars, um, which I am a big fan of. Okay. I'm not going to go into the whole, uh, I'm not going to start any controversy right now. What I'm going to do is review something about Star Wars that, uh, I have gotten into in the last year and it's a board game. Uh, there are several different, uh, tabletop, uh, games for, uh, Star Wars fans and people who like tabletop games. Um, the one that I happen to uh, get into because some good friends of mine one day surprised me for my birthday and bought me this giant box and I open it up and it's this game called Imperial Assault. So I have gotten the chance to learn how to play it, have played it, really enjoy the game. And have purchased, they have expansions for the game. Well, this year, um, for my birthday, my sister, she ended up uh, getting me another expansion for it that I really wanted. And here it is. Imperial Assault, Heart of the Empire. <laughs> you can see my face. I'm filming this with my phone and my uh, hand is only, or my arm is only so long. So... There we go. We'll get that in the shot there. So you can see. Looks like they're on uh, Coruscant or maybe Corellia. I'm pretty sure it's Coruscant though. Um, so let's flip it around. Let's see the back. Now this is from a company called Fancy Flight Games and uh, there's the Disney logo. Uh, Heart of the Empire. I'm going to turn it around and I, well, maybe I'll let you read it yourself here. I'll just, well, you, you can just look it up and you can read it. I'm not going to sit here and read this whole thing. Um, but what I am going to do, is I'm going to open this and I'm going to show you what's inside. Okay. So, just a sec. And we're back. Okay, so... Um, so I just, uh, pulled the cellophane off of, off of here before, um, I get into this box here. I do think maybe I should, uh, go over a few things on here. So Imperial Salt, um, like I mentioned earlier, it requires, um, the, you know, you have the core game, which is the big box, you know, that you can find that online or at your local game store. Hopefully you have a local game store and purchase it from them. You're going to uh, find that for about running, depending on your store, could be like 85 to a hundred dollars. Just depends on your store and you know, how, you know, how they price things and everything like that. Um, similar prices online, you might be able to find it for cheaper, but if you have a local game store, totally support them. Now, you do need the core game to play any of the expansions, because if you get an expansion without a core game, it's not going to make sense. You're gonna, it's going to just basically force you to buy the, the core game, which in and of itself, the core game is a blast. And you can actually, like, so I don't get the chance to play every single week to get to play this game, but every so often we get to play. It's campaign form, comes with a campaign sheet, uh, and it goes mission by mission, uh, and how the game works is one player plays as the Empire, and they usually have slight upper hand, but not so much that it's unbalanced. Now, if you want to be a jerk, you can be like super aggressive as the Empire and um, just crush the Rebels if you want to. Not for every mission, but some are. There are, anyways. It's it's a very fun game. And then the rest of them, you get these rebel cards. You play as the rebels, and there's game tiles that um, make up 
alternating maps and you have the the manual and anyways it goes mission by mission and you you finish a campaign we've been doing this campaign for a year uh we're almost finished with it and um it's just it's a lot of fun it's a lot of strategy involved there's a lot of cool uh just if you're a star wars fan in any way shape or form there's gonna be lots of uh, like cool references and things because it's in the star wars universe it's in that in that space there um but uh you know it comes with uh miniature plastic figures which um you can leave unpainted or paint i tend to paint mine um and maybe I'll show some of those sometime. Uh, you know, I started at noob level and they've slowly gotten better. But, you know, even if you start at noob level and you paint it and you have fun, it's still cool to have just painted things on the board. It's just, it's fun. And your friends will all look at it and be like, oh, you did a good job, no matter how good you did or didn't do. Um, but anyways, um, the game uh, can do a minimum of two players. So... Two players, you have options there. So you can do um, the regular game with two players, and the the person playing the Rebels is going to run two Rebels. Um, just one second. Okay. Um, so as I was saying, you can run two to five players. Person, you know, playing Empire, and if it's just two people, person playing the Empire, person... Uh, that's not playing the Empire runs two Rebel characters, or there's a skirmish mode, which actually I've never played yet because we've been so caught up on the campaign. But it, it's a it's a game that they added, so like you're basically getting two games in one because that skirmish mode is a different kind of a game, different rules, um, and different setup, and it's more about battles uh, and uh, fighting as far as. I can tell, but I haven't played it yet, so I can't tell you 100% for sure. Um, <clears throat> but you can have up to five players, and that would that would mean four Rebels and then one person playing the, the Empire. Um, and each, uh, each box contains, you know, new cards, new figures, stuff like that. And then they also, you know, it's a money-making thing. But, I mean, it's cool, and I understand they have... Um, extra miniature figures and stuff that you can purchase uh, also at your game stores or if you can't find them. That, that's the only thing that maybe if you can't find these figures at your game store because they don't always keep this stuff in stock, you know, maybe search online for those types of things. But um, <clears throat> anyways, it's it's a lot of fun. And the cool thing is, is even if you just get the core game and you play through that, you can play through that, um, like, even if I didn't have these expansions, we would be able to replay that core game several times and have different outcomes, different um, game experience each time because it's uh, different uh, rewards and consequences occur uh, depending on whether the Rebels win uh, a mission or the Empire wins a mission, and it changes the whole outcome of the game. Um, so let's, uh, let's get into this box here. So, <clears throat> um, really quick, uh, before I open it up, it looks like this comes with, uh, a few new, uh, rebels and it always comes with, so I I'll show you, I'll show you here. So, un momento. Okay, so I opened the box here, and uh, I'll have to work on getting a better setup here for my camera, but I'll show you what comes in. So first you get a Fantasy Flight uh, little catalog. Oh man, this summer of 2016, so this game has been printed and sitting on a shelf somewhere for a while, but that's okay. Uh, we've got... The Imperial Assault Heart of the Empire rule book here. So it's going to be the same rules pretty much for uh, this game as far as the core game. But with each expansion, they add um, little special things, little rules that they add into it. Um, 
or these stickers, which you use on your minifigures to keep track of them. <clears throat> or, you know, multiple ones, because you got things like stormtroopers and multiple of the same figure, so you know, you know, which is which, and that makes more sense when you play the game. Uh, we've got a skirmish uh, map sheet here, which is the mode I've never played. Then we've got, it's uh, shrink wrapped here, the, um, the tiles for the missions. So this is the game board. So you basically, you pop these out and uh, they lock into, you know, their sp specific ones. This one looks kind of cool. looks like a stage kind of like area. Um, and then you got like tokens and stuff on the back. Uh, you get a lot. You actually do get a lot for, I mean, sure, you. it's cardboard and plastics. You're not pay playing for that. You're, you're paying for the game. So, <clears throat> let's pop this stuff open here. So, it comes with a pouch of, uh, you actually get a good amount of minifigures. And then, each expansion usually adds one type of, like, bigger unit. So... Let's get into that really quick. If I can open this bag with one hand, I think I can do it. I did it. <laughs> okay. So you get like these riot uh, kind of looking riot guard type of stormtroopers, which is cool. You you get a lot of stormtroopers in in the original base game. So let's see. We got one, two. Uh, let me see. So far, I pulled out two. <laughs> um, you get... So, I don't know if this is Zam Wessel or not, but it looks a lot like one of her... Uh, it's like a, a, a changeling kind of alien Zam Wessel, like from uh, Attack of the Clones. That was a good uh, scene in that movie. Then you got uh, another Riot. Stormtrooper, so, so far we've got three. I'm guessing we'll probably just have four of those. Um, okay, so another Zam Wessel unit. So I'm guessing it's probably not Zam Wessel. It's just aliens that are like her. Okay, then we got some sort of a... Some sort of a battle type. Like, I don't know if it's a, like a bounty droid or something like that. It could be. Then we've got, I think, another one of those. So we got two of those. Those bounty type droids. Um, oh man, yep, we got, so we got so far four of the riot stormtroopers, three of those, I would just call them bounty droids. I'll find the right name for it. Okay, three, three of the Zam Wessels. Let's see what else we got in here. Is it more of the same? So far it looks like it. And yes, so we got four of each of those units. That's pretty cool. Okay, and then in here, this is also, so you, you even if you don't paint your figures, they leave the rebel figures uh, in a different color plastic than the uh, Empire. So we've got this like rogue ish like demolition looking uh wookie it's covered in like thermal detonators he's got this uh cool like blaster he's got like bandoliers on his legs so it's kind of cool let's see what their names are in just a sec here okay and then we've got a looks like a soldier but the race that coyote mundi is I forget the name of what those his race is. And then we've got just looks like some dude trying to be like Wolverine here. He's got some claws that he looks like he wants to stab you with. So <laughs> then we've got the big one. So this here. I'll show you. So it comes with the base. 
So it's going to be a, a sort of a, a walker. Um, let's see, it's, it's disassembled into parts. Just a second, I'll take it all out, put it together, and I'll show you. Okay, so that was pretty quick and easy to put together. Um, the figures do kind of like snap together, the big ones, but um, I would recommend if you get the chance to add a little bit of glue, you know, just to make sure that, you know, they don't fall apart on you while you're, um, while you're playing the game. Cause you know, people like to touch those things. Okay. So we won't uh, be too much longer on this. I'll just show you the, um, the cards for the rebels and, uh, we'll wrap it up here. Okay, so, again, opening a plastic bag with one hand. So, let's go through this. So, you've got uh, the rebel that she looks the race of Coyote Mundi. Her name is Kotun Ferralo, and she is a rebel quartermaster. Okay, so, they give you the uh, the actual, here's the artwork actual title of her rank and position and then you see all those numbers and stuff on there that all comes into play when you actually play the game let's see then we have the Wookiee and his name is Drokata and he's a demolitions expert and you see his there we go and one last card his name is Jared Kelvin with Jax. Okay, so he's got some sort of a little, like, robot, that droid that's connected to him, and doesn't really say what he is, it just says with Jax, so he just is some sort of a rebel. So anyways, uh, so anyways, uh, you get to have a little sneak peek into what the game is kind of like. Um, they have other expansions, like I have one called Return to Hoth, another one called uh, Java's Realm, and each one comes with, you know, its set of figures and cards and things like that. And if you're into Star Wars and if you're into strategy games and you like to have fun with your friends, I would highly recommend checking this game out. Um, you know, it's possible that if you have a local game store, if it's got some sort of like uh, get together where, you know, um, they, you know, have game nights and stuff there that they might actually have somebody that has the game, and if you want to test it out, you can always uh, test it out that way. Sometimes they let you rent games. Uh, I know that mine, one of my local game stores, they let you rent games and test games out, and they have open boxes of these games, and, uh, you know, they're pretty cool about it. They want you to get into the hobby, into the game, and so they do what they can to help you to play it. If you've never played it before, I... You know, there are several videos out there um, that are good at explaining the rules. There's a lot of rules to the game, a lot of different things, but you also have your core rule book, and you're going to be referencing that thing all the time, you know, every time you play the game, which is fine. It's it's cool. I mean, thankfully, one of the guys that plays with, with that I play with, um, he's like... Uh, human encyclopedia so every bit of information he remembers it and it's very helpful and so it makes the game fun hopefully maybe you'll you'll beat that person or know someone like that but um i would just encourage you to give it a try um and uh you know if you do or if you've played this game or are interested you know leave a comment and you know, let's talk about you know what your experience is like maybe even make a video and, and respond to and everything but you know this is a little sneak peek fun into the world of my my hobbies and my fun and uh yeah until next time have a good one